Hello friends, I am Ronald Gays, Assistant Professor in Civil Department, Sandipani Technical Campus Latin. But today's topic is calculation of support reaction and tension of a suspension cable subjected to UDL. The learning outcomes. After watching this video, student will be able to understand the concept of a cable profile and also student will be able to calculate the support reactions of suspension cable. Now the calculation of support reaction and tension of a suspension cable was subjected to the UDL. Now suppose here Uh, this is a suspension cable which is support is like suppose here is a, a pulley and also here is a one pulley suppose now is subjected to the UDL is subjected to the UDL uniformly distributed load. So here we have to apply the UDL like this is subjected to the UDL. And this is a pulley. This part is called as a pulley suppose. This is a anchorage. Now here, suppose this is a span L, and this is the deep of the cable that we denote as a H, and this is a, a support of the pulley. So at this support, there is a reactions. So here. This will is the downward, so here the reaction is the upward side that we call as the VA, and here also this UDL is downward, so reaction is the upward in this way. This we call as the VB. Now, for the maintaining this shape or maintaining this depth VH, here we have to apply this. Horizontal force in the outward direction on both the side. So this H is create the Hong bending moment here because if you try to pull this outward side, this H is going to reduce. So automatically here this H is also produces the Hong bending moment. That is same in case of the a 3 inch parabolic arch. Now, this is the vertical reaction VA and this is vertical reaction VB and this is subjected to a UDL of suppose is W kilo Newton per meter. Now, first we calculate the reactions. So, how to calculate the reactions first? So, this is the UDL is like if you draw the simply supported beam like this and here is a one reaction is vertically here is VA and here vertical reaction and VB and here this is the UDL this is the UDL that we call as W kilo newton per meter so automatically here these reactions are the equal symmetry because this load is symmetric so we can directly say that here VA is equal to VB is equal to the total load is W into the L divided by 2 so we can say that is a WL by 2 so in this way we got the vertical reactions now Next is to calculate H.
Now, this cable is subjected to only the tension. This cable is a subjected only the uh, tension. This does not occur any type of the bending moment here in the cable. So anywhere, anywhere, in cable, the bending moment is the chi. Anywhere in the cable is the bending moment is zero because this cable is subjected to only for the tension force. This cable is only subjected to the tension force. That is why here the bending moment at any section is zero. But we have only this C point where we know the depth that is called as a D. This is called as a D. So we know there is an the H. So we can say that here take the uh, bending moment at C and that is equal to zero because this cable does not subjected to any bending moment. This is only subjected to the uh, tension. So this cable is subjected to tension only. Tension only. So bending moment anywhere in the cable is a zero. So we are taking here the uh, bending moment at the C and that is equal to the zero. Maybe from the uh, left side suppose is from the uh, left side. So like this. So we know that is the again a beam moment minus H moment because this H create the hogging bending moment that is why here is a, a minus. So first B moment is what this VA. Suppose B moment is what from the left side this force create the a second bending moment. So VA into L by 2. Then this is a downward force. So this creates the hogging bending moment. So that is why it's minus is W into L by 2 into the distance is the L by 4. So into central distance is L by so this part is a, a beam moment. Now, the next is what we are taking beam moment at here. So this H is create the hogging bending moment. So this H into this H is the a bending moment to this horizontal reaction. So this H is create the hogging bending moment because if you increase the H here, that automatically uh, decrease the sagging part. That is why this H is produces the Hogging bending moment. So minus H into the H is equal to zero. So now put here this VA is equal to the WL by 2. WL by 2 into L by 2 minus WL square by 8 and is equal to the H into the H. Now here H into the H is equal to this become WL square by 4 minus WL square by 8. So this becomes H is equal to W L square by the 8H. So in this way we got here the horizontal reaction H. Initially we got here the vertical reactions. This VA and VB is equal to the W L by the 2 and here the H is equal to the W L square by 8h. Now next we find the profile of this cable. Next we find here the profile of this cable. Now if you take here anywhere 
the bending moment in the cable. Suppose if you take any point P on this cable, suppose any point is suppose is a P, and this height is the y, and this distance is the x. So here this distance also is the x. Suppose this is the x and this depth is the y1. Now our aim is to find the profile of this cable. So now bending moment at the distance xx. If you draw here the free body diagram is like this. It lies here is subjected to the EBL and here is the one particle reaction VA and that is equal to the WL by 2 here is the H and this distance is the Y1 and this distance is the X and this is the UDL W kilo Newton per now the bending moment at the x x we know anywhere a bending moment in the cable is the zero is zero so bending moment at this x x so from the left side this the force v moment again the v moment is so v a into the x we know v a is equal to w l by 2 into the x then this UDL is W into X into the X by 2. That is the minus W X square by 2. And this H is a create the homing moment. This H into this the Y1. So minus H into the Y1 is equal to the G. So if you take here H into Y1 is equal to W L by 2 into X minus W X square by 2. So take the W X by 2 is a common in bracket is a L minus W by 2 is common and in the X here remains a X. So now this is the H into the y1. Now, h is equal to we know that is the w l square by the 8h. So, put here the w l square by 8h here. So, w l square by 8h into suppose is the y1. Is equal to W X by 2 into L minus the X. Now inverse this here Y1 is equal to this 8H divided by W L square into W X by 2 into L minus X. With this this W this W C W gets the cancel out is 2 into the 4 so this becomes y1 is equal to 4 H X by L square into the L minus X so this is the height of y1 anywhere at a distance x from the uh, support and this is the equation of the uh, parabola. This is the equation of parabola.
So now we can say that here when the cable or hence or hence the cable a subjected to UDL takes the shape of parabola. Take the shape of the parabola. And this is the equation of this. Anywhere the height of y1 is equal to 4hx divided by the l square into l minus x. Now the next is the tension in the cable. Now here this a cable is subjected here a tension that we call as the T. This cable is subjected to a tension anyway. Now if you take any point here P, this leg P and suppose this support is A. So to consider this A to P part suppose. So this is our vertical reaction VA. This is the horizontal reaction H and this is the at the support, the tension is the maximum. Now here, here also a, a tension in the cable at the point this P. Now here, if you draw the tangent here, so this angle is the theta. This angle is the theta. Now, if you resolve this, horizontally, if you resolve this horizontally, what here, this becomes a T cos theta, which is towards the right, that is equal to the h which is the towards the left. So we got here the equation at t cos theta is equal to the h. So horizontal component of the tension horizontal component of tension is equal to the thrust is equal to the thrust or the h or the h now if you take any point p or anywhere anywhere on this cable profile so where is the t minimum where is the t a minimum. Where is the T minimum? Now here T cos theta is equal to the H. So now when this theta is the 0, in that case cos theta is equal to the 1. When theta is equal to 0, the cos theta is equal to the 1. Means cos 0. It means what? If theta is equal to 0, cos 0 is equal to the 1. This situation is occurs at the center. This situation is occurs at this center. At this center, theta is always the 0. If you take any point on the this curve, there is some theta. But if you take at the center, this theta is the 0. So we can say that here
then this theta equal to 0 cos 0 is equal to 1. So t is equal to the h. So we can say that t minimum is equal to the h and location is location is at the center of the length. Center of the length. Where we got the uh, T minimum. Tension minimum is at the lowest point of the uh, cable. Lowest point of the cable that is the center of the length. Now, the maximum tension maximum tension will occur at the support at the support so here how this that we know here this tension this tension is how much calculated here that we know this T max is equal to the under root this vertical reaction square plus the horizontal reaction square. Then we can say that here under root V is equal to the W L by 2 bracket square plus the W L square by the 8 H bracket square and the square root. Now if you take here this W L by 2 is common so in the bracket remaining is the 1 plus L square by 16 H square so T max T max is equal to here we got WL by 2 into under root plus 1 plus L square upon 16H square. So, these are the our calculation that is the calculation of the support reactions and the tension in the cable and also the important is the uh, cable uh, profile that is equal to 4HX by L square into the in bracket L minus X. Thank you.